Hey, what's up everybody? Not as fan here again today. Today I'm going to be starting to walk you through uh, Dynasty mode, uh, as, as a matter of fact, online Dynasty mode um, of NCAA Football 11. Um, I'm choosing online Dynasty so that I can access um, all of my recruiting and all of my uh, highlights online, um, even though it's going to be a one-person Dynasty uh, just for myself. So I'm going with the uh, hometown Minnesota Golden Gophers. And here you'll see my preseason setup, and because um, I'm using existing rosters and I don't really want to do a whole lot of changes to it, I go, I go straight to advancing to the regular season. I'm not going to worry about redshirting players, uh, the depth chart, all that right now. I'm going to get into the season and then worry about those things. So here we are in the HUD uh, for, um, for Dynasty. You've got ESPN Top Stories. You got your preseason polls here, the conference outlooks, all that is uh, accessible here from the from the first menu. Here you'll see um, the preseason polls, Alabama, uh, on top, uh, down the line here. Preseason polls don't mean a whole lot, but uh, you know you got to rank them somewhere starting out the season. So there you go. And um, from that, we'll move on down to the conference outlook. Uh, Big Ten, of course, for the Gophers, they've got them ranked. Um, just about middle of the pack, seventh, uh, behind Michigan State and Michigan, but ahead of Purdue, Illinois, um, and a few others. So uh, here you've got the Heisman watch uh, coming into the season. Mark Ingram, of course, uh, from Alabama. Yeah, Keenum from Houston. Kellen Moore, Boise. Terrell Pryor of uh, the Buckeyes. And Jake Locker, Washington. Those are your top five uh, Heisman uh, candidates coming into the season. So. Here I'll do just a quick rundown, looking at the preseason All-Americans, again, uh, pretty much uh, based on what they had done the year before. So you will notice I've got uh, a good roster set here with real names. People often ask me uh, how I get those. Those could be downloaded in the EA Locker on the online portion of this game if you happen to know um, a user who has the, um, has the roster set. So in my case, I used Pasta Padre's um, rosters, at least, you know, that was in his EA locker. He, um, they've been done by another um, set of individuals uh, who did a lot of hard work on that. So uh, anyway, uh, you can get your real rosters in if you do a little homework on it. Here I'm doing a formation sub, uh, and I'm looking specifically at my Wildcat uh, 4K uh, uh, formation which I think is actually called the Wild Gopher or something like that uh, in my playbook. Uh, what I'm trying to do is get Adam Weber uh, subbed out there because what the Gophers often do is bring in backup quarterback Marquise Gray, who's uh, kind of the more um, all-around athletic guy uh, to run the quarterback spot in the uh, Wildcat. So um, putting Gray in there uh, so, that, so that he'll be in there when we run the Wildcat. So from there, we're going to do a little practice. i um, actually going to run some plays out of that Wildcat. I kind of wanted to test some things out after swapping uh, swapping some things out. And I think I might have even had Weber still uh, still in the game at this point. But, uh, yep, Weber's out wide here. So uh, trying some plays that uh, don't go so well in practice to start with, but uh, tr trying to get Weber a deep ball of all things. So just seeing what I can do uh, as far as a little trickery out of the, uh, the Wildcat there. There's a uh, hand off to Stoudemire and he gets drilled. So, uh, so far not so good. I think I eventually find uh, that I can throw to Weber in the flat there and uh, treat it like a screen. Here you go with a Stoudemire. Well, he doesn't quite get out and get his block there, but something to be perfected, but I'm definitely working on it at this point. So just uh, like I said, you know, you can go in your in, in your on your practice field and uh, work on pretty much anything you want at any time. So nice to do that if you're uh, especially trying to you know figure out your go-to plays as far as audibles or your formation subs. This could be a good uh, w way to try things out. So as we uh, kind of wrap up uh, practice, uh, this is going to be kind of a short uh, first intro, just uh, introing the dynasty, but. Uh, come back for episode two as the Gophers will play their first opponent of the season. That's uh, Middle Tennessee State. They travel to Middle Tennessee State to take on the Raiders and that will be their first uh, non-conference game and first game of my dynasty. So uh, thanks for joining me. Uh, again, this is not as fan. If you uh, are a fan of the dynasty mode, you should have a little fun with this. So come on back. We'll see you later, guys. Ready to get this one underway. 
And there's the...